It's the chicken of the tree. It's the chicken, <laughs> chicken of the tree. <laughs> What's going on, Iguana lovers? It's Sunday and it's daylight savings. But when you guys watch it, it's probably gonna be a couple days after. We got a surprise for you guys. We're going to be hanging out with the Iguana Man and the Iguana Slayer. Now today is just gonna be hanging out and seeing how we work. Now it's already late in the day, it's already one or two o'clock, but we're gonna see what we can catch. So we're gonna let Iguana time go in first. You wanna go in? No, dude, your rod is longer. Yo, where'd you get that second rod? Oh, damn. That's a good one. That was a great oh, 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 oh. Ooh, she's open. Oh, oh that hurts. Oh. That hurts. It's, it's trying to get his claws on him. Oh, man. Yeah, hold him down like that. So even though his back is turned against me, his back is on me, this guy is so strong right here. Yo, I need some help, bro. <laughs> no, seriously, this guy is really strong. Hold on, hold on, bro. This is probably one of the strongest iguanas. I don't want him to get scratched by an iguana, guys. I got scratched so much, so many times. How about if you got hit by an iguana? Most I ever got was like his back legs got me. Yeah, I've gotten, dude, I've gotten dug good. so hard. Yeah, so yeah. one of my clients got dug so hard by an iguana. Dude, I saw a picture of what they their bite does to what was it, Raj? A finger? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Like it was like just like we had some dude that got his finger bit at the reptile rocked, show. It almost ripped it off. Oh, for real? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him right there. He's got some battle wounds right there, guys. This guy is definitely been in a couple scuffs in his life you know what i'm saying this isn't his first rodeo yeah. so i'm over here fighting with these iguanas and these guys are over here just looking at me looking pretty, <laughs> spectating <looking pretty. laughs> a what uh basketball can you get it i don't think your approach is gonna work ever have you ever <laughs> caught one like that <laughs> i've never seen it i don't know if it's because you're eating all these berries on the Oh, that was a good, that was a good yeah, That's a good setup. <laughs> no, but I seen, I seen like three times this size. Wow, yeah. Oh yeah, they get big. All right, guys, you got the iguana man interviewing people with his iguanas. Hey, spook them out there, man. What do you want me to do, go under? Iguana time is going underneath. I can get it. Oh, shit. Whoa. Guys, we have a giant sleeping iguana on top of the tree right there. And he is just hanging out. Wow, that is amazing. How did you see that, Nom? Well, now I see he's just sticking out, right? Like a sore thumb, right? Yep. Oh, I might be able to my ass. I might be able you to got get him. Nom. Oh! Nom, you got the 19 foot pole. All right, guys. We got iguana time working on this iguana. There's too much branches, dude. My lasso is getting caught in them. All right. Grab the uh, top end of the rod, I guess. Guide it, and I'll push it through. Oh, we can, so we, right now we got the lasso around his neck right now. But it's not, it's not secured on the back of his neck. Wait, what if I, I can lift it up higher. I can lift it up higher and then push it. All right, it's good now. All right, you got it, you got it. We got him! <laughs> Woo! Yo! Woo! That's a big one. We got him! Woo! And that, my friends, is how you get a Goliath iguana out of the trees. This is one of the challenging ones we ever caught right here, Nam. Yeah, what do you think about that, dude? It's definitely uh, the, one of the biggest ones we caught together. Oh, for sure. This, yeah. this is the biggest one we ever caught together, man. And the, the, the hardest one. That thing was all the way up in the tree. Teamwork, Teamwork bro. man. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. It's <laughs> already like 6 p.m. The sun is going down. All the iguanas are going in their trees and the burrows for the night. Just wanted to say that we would have never got that giant Goliath Charizard iguana out that tree if it wasn't for Iguana Time's 20 foot rod. Oh, yeah. So what you guys gotta do is make sure and subscribe to his channel, Iguana underscore time, and do the Iguana Man a favor and make sure and subscribe to this man. What's up, man? All right, you guys subscribe to him. Without him, we wouldn't have been able to bring you guys that epic catch from the tree. It took teamwork for us to get that giant iguana, including the iguana slayer in the background, making sure everything was going down smooth. Appreciate you. We love you, bud. And uh, you know, thanks a lot, iguana time, man, for for that 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 was clutch, bro. Without that man, that iguana would still be in the tree right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We got the iguana slayer Kyle over there, iguana man doing the little the shoot. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and look out for more videos.